Yo, what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy, who's in though? And we back talking sports. Got the Kobe hat on. You know what time it is. You know exactly what time it is. So today um we're going to pick, you know what I'm saying, from uh we're going to pick from something, you know what I'm saying? It's so many, you know what I'm saying, uh Kobe Bryant like videos, you know what I'm saying, highlights and stuff like that that you know what I'm saying, I can just pick you know what I'm saying? Because Kobe is my favorite player as well. So, I'm going to just, you know what I'm saying, choose from the game. Mm-hmm. This was 09, Kobe. Adventure on a deeper level. The Subaru Forester Wilderness. Dog tested. Dog approved. I want to say this too before I uh, go on with the video. You can't force somebody to believe a player is better than another player. Listen, you LeBron fans, y'all care about advanced stats. I don't. I know how to calculate every metric of the advanced stats from value over replacement player to win shares to uh, to defensive box plus minus on and on and on. I understand all those metrics. I Those metrics does not calculate what is on the floor watching the game. Those metrics will never be more important than the eye test. When I'm saying who is a better basketball player. So, sorry. You can't force nobody to think that you know who is the GOAT. And this pass is prime, Shaq. And they still couldn't do shit with him. And this prime Kobe, though. This is prime Kobe. I'm talking about championship Kobe. This is when he went to the finals last year, and he yeah, just came off of that. I think he just came off of the Olympics and everything, and this was probably one of his best years. Again, Bangy does a good job initially, but on that bounce, on the look who was old Kobe T. Bangum. Some of these dudes not even in the league no more, bro. Like, they wasn't even a league no more after Kobe did what he did. You didn't hear shit about them no more, bro. O'Neal gets low, two dribbles. You got to be coming instead of just staring at him as he goes across the middle. That's just too easy. And it could have been called an offense. People might think because I be going in, well, I will be trying to beef up Kobe that I don't like Shaq. I think Shaq is the most dominant player ever. Shaq is in my top eight players of all time. You feel me? I think Shaq is phenomenal. I just don't like when people lie and say that Shaq carried Kobe. Don't lie like that because the numbers is out there during the playoffs. And then y'all don't mention that in the uh, finals, and which I really don't mention is the triangle offense where Shaq was meant to dominate. The offense was ran through Shaq. That's why Kobe led them in assists most of the playoff years. Seven assists, six assists, eight assists here. Like, bro, y'all don't y'all not really understanding basketball. Y'all just trying to push a narrative. That's why I don't listen to a lot of you niggas about basketball, bro. Like <laughs> working a little bit hard on the defensive. If Shaq would have took care of himself, bro, Shaq would have been better than Wilt. Like, 
And you could argue that Shaq is better than Wilt. You can argue that. But Wilt took better, better care of himself and had, you um, know what I'm saying? But those three dominant years by Shaq, you can put those up against anybody, low key. For real. No help, nothing you can do in that situation. The pick fell. Who didn't want to stick with his call because Phil Spooner is a better official. <laughs> Without accolades, if we ain't just talking how many championships they won together, I think Shaq and Kobe is the greatest duo of all time, bro. I understand people say Pippen and Jordan because of the six championships and all that. But is Pippen, you telling me Pippen better than Shaq or Kobe? Come on now. We know MJ is the GOAT. But you telling me Pippen better than Shaq or Kobe? You know, LeBron fans say, yeah, Pippen is better than Kobe. You know, they're going to say dumb shit like that. They say dumb shit like way better and all that junk like that. I don't listen to them niggas. Because there's tons of motherfucking video out here where real basketball players are telling you how good Kobe is. So why would I listen to any nigga that is fans of a guy that, you know what I'm saying, is as narcissistic and insecure as, hey, you know what I'm saying, I got to be this, I got to be that, you know what I'm saying? But Shaq, even Shaq after the fucking, after he started going downhill was still a beast. He was still a beast until he got super, super old. Exactly. disagree. Growing up, having kids give you a different perspective. Kobe Bryant, he's got 19 points at halftime, but his team is down 10. Of course, this is the Lakers. This is Kobe. Like JB said, a 10 point deficit for the Lakers. They might as well. Kobe Bryant, three for three here in this third quarter. Right back down low. Jack double spins away. He is making quick decisions when he's already with 11 points here in this third quarter. And 30 for the game. Good mark. And the Lakers have their first lead since the opening minute. Best tough shot maker ever in life. They stormed out of the game here in the third quarter. You heard he said, right? This is in 2009 when LeBron won his first MVP. He said, the best player in the world, Kobe Bryant. Stop listening to these Nick Wrights of the world, these Shannon Sharps of the world, who used to be Kobe fans. And then four years after they tweeted, you know what I'm saying, Kobe was this and Kobe was that. Then they start, you know what I'm saying, thinking that LeBron was this uh, number two or whatever. And then Kobe was all the way back down. I don't listen to these, bro. These guys is flip flopping. They can be bought, bro. Mark, find a way to give your team life. That's what the great players do. Struggling, get me the basketball, get out of my way. Time and time again, too easy on the offensive end. Guy creating his own shot, and then when they overplay, pop out, dagger jump shots. Barnes and drives. Inside O'Neal. Shot throws it down. And a foul. 12 0 run. There's another good play by Matt Barnes. Let him dunk if you're not going to. His free throw looks softer than shit. I don't know how he did it. Now you just jinxed it. <laughs> uh oh! Off the miss! He comes right back with a dunk. That is inexcusable if you're the Lakers. That nigga too dominant, bro. <laughs> by the way, he had five fouls. He just slowed down. Yeah, the Suns won that one. That was a uh, Kobe versus Shaq they duel. Um, when uh, Shaq was on uh, Phoenix, he was still pretty good on Phoenix. Now, when he got to like Boston and shit like that, he was trash. Like he was trash. Once he got to like Cleveland, Boston, and shit like that, like he was ass. But when he went to Miami, he was like third in the MVP. He he should have probably won that MVP that year. Nash took one for him and took one from Kobe. Still mad about that. I don't care what nobody say. And this was a great duel. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. More content coming. This who is Hendo. I'm out. Peace.